unbelievable. All right. Today's going to be a good one. Be ready. Ready to wipe that sweat off your brow. are a bit uh, sore from those chest flies. Not my shoulders, but the, my pecs, where my pecs meet my shoulder. Mine is a little tender. Just goes to show it was a good one. Good in. means I pushed myself. It wasn't too sore, but I can feel it. So a lot of legs today. We're gonna do a quick little uh, round. Uh, we'll repeat it twice just to warm up. But we'll do it with the timer. It's a really good warm up, so. Other direction. And if for some reason, getting up and down off the floor is too much for you, then just do it against the wall with your hands on the wall. a leg in my warm-up too just to give some people a chance to show up. Some people show up a bit late. Other direction. Okay, we're going to start our warm-up. Start the timer and we're just going to do a little bit of a jog. intensity today uh, just because I want to really burn that fat get that heart rate up okay so let's just go right to high knees you can do it low impact high impact Okay, I'm gonna keep stealing a little sip of water. I'm just gonna do regular squats. Nothing fancy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nice squats. Throwing those hips and legs up. Pushing through those heels. Next one we're gonna do. my lower back being a jerk. Probably too much fun. <laughs> okay, when we do the next one, again, you can just hang on to the back of the chair and do it, or you can go on the floor. It's going to be cat-cow, so it's just a lot of times when you say you have a back injury, going up or down off the floor is almost unimaginable. So you can always just hang on to the kitchen sink or something cat cow as well. So let's just go right into cat cow. So tilt that pelvis towards the ceiling, your hip bones towards the ceiling, arch that back, and then just shift So you put those hip bones towards the floor, always keeping those arms straight. Let's just alternate back and forth. And again, you can do this in the standing position. So we desire. Do you ever uh, feel like your lower back is out? Yeah, just do it hanging on the kitchen sink or something. One time my mom said, oh, I destroyed my back and I got her to stand at the sink and do this. And it was like instantly better. So she must have just slightly put her back out. Up and out 
It's like a hip stretch, but we're gonna do fire hydrants. So you just go out to the side, other side. This is just a warm up. We're good for warming everything up. We're gonna repeat everything one more time, aren't we? So, if I was doing this in a standing position, I would just be lifting my knee up and out. Right? That's the standing position version. We're gonna do this, repeat this one more time, anyways. So we'll go back to jogging or high knee. Sip of water because I love water. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. So you can just do a little small jog or a high knees jog or low impact high knees. Some of the rounds are going to be really short, like just a couple movements. But we're really going to get that heart rate up with those legs. So high reps. So you don't even really need weights today, but if you want to make it a little more challenging, always add that weight to the body. But we really need them today. Five seconds. Two. One. Good. Going right back into just regular squats. Um, another way to do it is you can just have a chair behind you and just pop your butt down on it. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Just squatting. Just trying to keep my chest forward, eyes up. Push it through those heels, not the toes. You really just want to imagine your whole foot like it was glued to the floor and you're pushing through the whole perimeter of your foot. That's the best way to think about it. And come when you're coming up, imagine pushing through and out the floor. Like you're trying to tear a newspaper in half with your feet. Push down and out. <laughs> Two, good. Go back to cat cow, remember? You do it standing. You just quickly go to the floor. Just warm the lower back up a little bit extra. Since I did this cat cow, my lower back was being a little angry with me this morning. Already feels a little bit better. So, something snagged. stretch on Friday, please message me and let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to try and give you a nice variety. Let's try to add something to the stretch. So keeping the favorites. You stay down here and do my fire hydrants. Again, you could just do a standing hip. Open, open those hips up and step out. Like I showed you earlier. Nice fire hydrant. So good for the glutes. Lower back. A bit of a twist. We'll get into the fun part more now. Sweat pours into your eyes. Or the wall, 
and what we call drop squats, which most people won't do because it's high impact, but you can do a, a low impact version. That's a drop squat. Now you can do that or step up to the side and squat. Okay, that's your choices. So we're doing drop squats and push ups. That's it. Three rounds. That's all. So get your water in you. Let's get hit this round. Alright, here we go. Ten seconds. Starting with the squats. Or you can just do regular squats. For glute bridges, lots of choices. If you do glute bridges, you're on the floor for the push ups. Okay, here we go. You can just do jumping jacks. Or standing jacks. And like I said, step to the side and squat. Push-ups either on the wall, elevated, keeping your whole spine perfectly straight. So you're leading your hips and shoulders should always be together. Or you can do the push-ups on the floor. Here you go. Push-ups are good for building your upper body strength without hurting your shoulders. I was trying to think about the shoulders and hips staying together in a plank. 15 seconds. Step it out, but still keeping that pace up. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, push ups again. Wall or floor. Elevated. On your knees. Full army one if you're tough enough for it. Here we go. Two, one, go. <laughs> we were specific. Strengthening 
legs today and some core. Next round. And it's drop squats for everyone today. 10 seconds. One, good. Back to push ups one more time. And we're moving on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Side plank. My elbow is still being injured. So I might just try a side plank holding myself up. Or another way is to do a Russian twist. So I think I'm going to do Russian twist today. So maybe we will need one dumbbell for the floor. The Russian twist, drop squats again, and then uh, your alternative to drop squats is to stay on the floor and do clamshells. Now, if you do the clamshells, do one side the first time, the other side the second time, and then uh, alternate halfway through for the last one, and then bicycle kicks. So, a lot of core, a little bit of glute for the second round. I got my dumbbell because for my Russian twist, I'm going to tap my dumbbell on either side as I go. So here we go. So you're on the floor. Are you ready? We'll start with Russian twist. Okay, here we go. Three movements. Here we go. Russian twist. So I'm going to just tap on either side with this dumbbell. Strengthening my obliques. I got a really heavy one. Don't use a dumbbell, just cross your hands on your chest, turn your shoulders side to side. So I'm going to jump up and do drop squats again. You can jump up and do squats again, or you can stay on the floor and do clam shells. Russian twist, three, two, one. Remember, clam shells, lying on your side, chest towards the floor, lifting that knee up, keeping your feet together. Do the first side this round. Just remember what side you do, so you can do the other one next round. Here we go, I'm gonna drop squats again. Just get that heart rate up. Some people, a lot of work to get up and down off the floor. The more your chest is facing the floor when you do a clamshell, then the more you'll feel it in your glute and not your hip. 15 seconds. Issues and doing 
the bicycle, anything with a kick hurts your hips, then just maybe just do a reverse crunch here. Okay, otherwise, kicking the bicycle kicks, constant movement, trying to kick your leg out parallel to the floor, keeping that belly button pushed in the whole time. times three two one excellent roll up get on those butt cheeks we're gonna rush and twist it so normally I'd say lift your feet up off the floor but like I told you before I woke up with a sore lower back so I'm gonna just keep those heels on the floor while I do this make sure you keep both hands on that dumbbell Side to side. In my obliques. 30 seconds. If you're doing clamshells, you're going to switch to the other side next. Or you can jump up and do some cardio. Get that heart rate up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Plant shells. You're lying on your side. Make sure your chest is facing the floor and your knees and hips are parallel. Here we go. I'm doing jump squats again. Here we go. Or drop squats. Everyone calls it something. Butt down. Gotta give some reason for a leg and hip stretch on Friday. <laughs> 20 seconds. First crunch, that's your option. That's rolling your knees towards your face, slightly lifting that butt up. Here we go. Kicking out parallel to the floor. No leg is still. Both legs are moving at all times. Clamshells. Halfway, I'll tell you, you can switch sides. Three, 
just be glute bridges. Okay, here we go. Whee. Donkey kick alternately. Okay? I always like to give options where you stay standing or you stay on the floor. And the last one is a single leg uh, deadlift. We're going to do it in an interesting way. Where we're just going to put our hands to the floor and kick the leg out or towards the floor. The alternative would be just go down hinging at the hip without lifting any foot, okay? Let's do it. Single squat serve. Your first assignment. Like we haven't had enough, right? Just wait, because there's going to be some holds in the future. Alternative two to uh, juju, <laughs> uh, doing squats would be wall sits. Or flip bridges are good too. Working those quads. Good. Let's just say you're going to feel your legs for the next few days. Many times you feel like you're overdoing it. Just take a break and have a drink of water. Okay, next is jogging on the spot. We can do a low impact high knees or a high impact high knees. Getting those knees up into a jog. Sucker for punishment. Yeah, you're starting to feel tired. Just take your time. Have some water.
Then lift up and we'll go into my blue bridges. Here we go. Up and down. If uh, you want to make it a little harder, just to hover above the floor and don't touch. Another way to work. Anytime you need a rest, slide down, take some nice deep breaths, start over. That pelvic tilt will work your butt cheeks more. That's why we're doing it. Or you can be doing those donkey kicks alternately on the wall. Standing up. Eight, seven. But getting up and down off the floor is important to keep that skill. You don't want to lose it. It's hard to get back. Okay. Single leg deadlifts. Or again. Soften those knees like slightly bent. Just roll down to your back parallel to the floor and come back up. Or go forward. Put your hands on the floor. Alternate side. <coughs> really work your butt cheek, I'll tell you. 20 seconds. You can do this with weights in your hands. I'm trying to get super hard. But, now I'm trying to hinge at my hip, not bend at my waist. That's my goal. Keep my back flat. All right. Let's do it again. Do more squats. Good time for at least one more round of this. So. Sumo. Halfway through, if you want, follow me. You can hold that squat. Okay. My toes are out. Pushing through my heels. Kind of in a stance of a sumo wrestler. Right? If you want, you can hold. Seconds. 
five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, regular squats. Or if you're super tired, lay on the floor. Good. Here we go. Regular squats. Chest forward, eyes forward. Let's go. Move that butt down. Hinge at the hip, just go down, knees soft, right? Hinge at the hip, flat back, or you're gonna reach forward, touch the floor, keep that leg out. Hinging at my hip, not bending at the waist. I'm gonna keep my back nice and flat and straight. So, 
lying on my back. I'm gonna straighten my right leg, bring my left leg up so I got a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna take my right arm, I'm gonna pull that leg right across my body. Oh, the other arm is straight out. Just so I can anchor my shoulders down. Super needed. And then, you want to attempt this. Take that other hand and grab your foot. Keep your shoulders down on the floor. Square. I just knew this pretzel would get me what I needed. Just because that's all the area that we're stretching right now. That's all everything that we did. So the more you pull that foot down towards your butt, the more you're going to stretch your quad in this pretzel position. Shoulders on the floor. Deep breath in. Good job, everybody. 